Así que aquí está Ron Cogan después de la prueba de manejo del BMW i8 en California. Well, Ron, we are at the end of a day uh, where we experience uh, the new BMW i8, and you've been like uh, in the green uh, car, more, more more oriented to that those kind of cars. What's your opinion? Your first first thoughts about this car? Well, we've driven a lot of green cars over the last uh, 23 years, and this one is pretty amazing. I mean, I was I wasn't disappointed in any way. You look at this car; it's uh, it has the look of a supercar. It's sleek. It's sexy. Um, it's built from uh, carbon fiber and, and other advanced materials. It just has everything going for it, and it's uh, electric drive and uh, and and uh, a hybrid. Yeah, I was uh, joking at the New York Auto Show uh, last April when the BMW i3 won a green car and design car of the year. And uh, I was telling them, maybe the i8 is going to go in uh, performance, green, design, and car of the year, because it does everything, right? Yeah, it pretty much does everything. I mean, it's it's not um, an inexpensive car. What was it, like 135000 or yeah. so? So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a car that's very aspirational. But for that market, you know, that market looks at Tesla. It'll be looking at... Uh, Uh, Porsche Panam Panamera SE so hybrid, hybrid yeah. and others if they want to go green and this is a new and just outstanding option that they're gonna they're gonna have yeah and uh, I mean they uh, the BMW people are saying that it, this one doesn't really compete with anything and probably they're right because I mean the Tesla is a fantastic car too but it doesn't compare in the looks maybe in the sports performance and then like they're other like much more expensive like the 918 Spider from Porsche which is like six times more expensive so I mean, what do you think? They, 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 the ELR from Cadillac? Um... Uh, you know, it's an evolving market. So yeah. if, if, when you look at these, and unlike um, entry-level electric vehicles, and there are a lot of those out, you look at aspirational electric vehicles in some form or another, this is new. And they're all over the map. I mean, the, the Cadillac ELR, which is an excellent car, it's about 75,000. Yeah. The Tesla Model S starts at about... Uh, Uh, 70,000, but it options up. And many buyers are doing over 100,000. Over 100, yeah. The Panamera SE Hybrid from Porsche is 100,000. This is 135,000. But you know, when you're looking at aspirational vehicles in, in that end of the market, that's not that much more. And it has the look of a supercar. And also, uh, these uh, amazing technologies that this car has, uh, that's going to trickle down to everything in the next 5, 10 years, you think? I mean, that's, what, that's the future. I mean, I, we're now. We're here now. Well, they have an enormous investment in, in uh, carbon-reinforced uh, yeah. um, plastic. So you're going to see more and more of that lightweight material, lightweight and ultra-strong material in conventional BMW vehicles. You're going to see the electrification used in additional BMW vehicles. So I, I think when you look at all the, the work they put into it, and it's massive, this is truly an extraordinary effort to, yeah. that, that you don't see from it, they, they, they other doing, automakers yeah we're, they're doing every aspect of the car the body parts that the, the powertrains design everything even even building a uh, plant to manufacture carbon fiber reinforced plastic yeah. i mean this is a big deal this is a new direction for bmw so they have to amortize this over the years we're going to see a lot of this technology in other models yeah so uh, in general uh, good, good good note for this car Oh yeah, I was I was mighty impressed. It was uh, we drove it through canyon roads and uh, uh, city streets. We were in electric drive. We were in hybrid drive. Uh, we we're in uh, uh, in modes where internal combustion is being assisted with electric boost, and it just delivers. And then it delivers, and just when you think that's it, it delivers some more. <laughs> so it was, it, and it was amazing. Uh, taking it through the canyons, it really handles extremely yeah, it, well. It, it's really a BMW. It is, and it's very comfortable. Excellent, Ron. Thank you very much. And so, where for audience, where can they look for more of uh, information about your reviews and everything else? Okay, Green Car Journal is our print publication, and you can go to carsofchange.com and read online. Yeah, and I guess we'll see you in LA next uh, November, and maybe this car will be there at some level. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll we'll see. <laughs> okay, thank you. Pues ahí están los comentarios de Ron Cogan, el uh, editor y publisher de Green Car Journal y carsofchange.com y la referencia que hacíamos hacia el Auto Show de Los Ángeles es porque ahí todos los años desde hace 10 se presentan los premios anuales de esta organización para los autos que cumplen eh, varios requisitos en cuanto a economía de combustible a desempeño, a tecnología, a innovación de tecnología y Ron Cogan ha tenido durante 10 años este premio pero lo ha entregado más hacia autos de producción masiva 
con precios más accesibles. Sin embargo, el mercado está cambiando de tal manera porque ahora obviamente hay muchas más opciones. Está, por ejemplo, el Tesla, que es uno de los autos eléctricos más populares, si no el más popular, aunque no en volumen porque todavía está recién comenzando su entrada, se puede decir, a la industria automotriz de forma masiva. Pero ya es un auto muy importante por todo lo que ha aportado a la industria. También está el Nissan Leaf en el otro espectro de, la, de los precios, por lo menos. Pero están saliendo modelos como este BMW i8, que son mucho más caro, 137 mil dólares en el caso del BMW está también Porsche que ha sacado un Panamera Plug-in Hybrid y han salido muchos modelos que ahora quizá van a forzar a Ron Cogan y al Green Car Journal y a um, CarsofChange.com a modificar un poco su fórmula para los premios del Green Car of the Year 2014 allá en el Auto Show de Los Ángeles en noviembre, así que vamos a esperar a ver qué pasa en noviembre y vamos a estar presentes ahí para esa premiación donde seguramente el BMW W8 va a tener eh, una presentación y quizás se lleve alguno de los premios. Esta ha sido la edición de esta semana. Los espero muy pronto aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Esto es Auto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.